Watching what is happening near Avdiivka, one gets the impression that the Russians have created a real trap there, which is about to close. Even Western experts admit that Avdiivka has become the second Bakhmut for the Ukrainian armed forces, where the Ukrainian army continued senseless resistance and eventually lost not only the city itself, but also 70% of its combat-ready reserves. From the point of view of common sense and military art, the armed forces of Ukraine should have left Avdiivka a month ago. However, President Zelensky demands that his generals continue to hold this city, sacrificing thousands of Ukrainian soldiers. So, a few hours ago, Russian and Ukrainian military telegram channels reported that in the southern part of Avdiivka, an entire company of the armed forces of Ukraine surrendered to the Russian army. It is reported that the commander of this company contacted the Russians using a special radio frequency and stated that he and his 150 soldiers were ready to lay down their arms and surrender. This decision was made by Ukrainian soldiers after Russian troops managed to break through the defense of the Ukrainian armed forces in an industrial zone in the southern part of Avdiivka. At the same time, it is worth noting that this is not the first case of mass surrender of Ukrainian soldiers in this direction of the front. It seems Zelensky's demands to fight to the last Ukrainian soldier no longer work in Avdiivka. It seems that more and more Ukrainian soldiers are beginning to understand the futility of further resistance. Meanwhile, military experts note the strengthening of offensive actions of Russian troops in the northern part of Avdiivka. According to them, over the past week, Russian forces have managed to completely destroy Ukrainian units northwest of the village of Stepovoy. At the same time, it is worth noting that even NATO generals are reluctant to recognize the success of the Russian army in this important sector of the front. According to them, the Russian army continues to successfully implement the plan to encircle Avdiivka. In this situation, the only thing that can stop the Russian army is massive attacks on its flanks. However, apparently, the Russian command understands this very well. According to war correspondents, the Russian army is constantly strengthening its flanks around the perimeter of the advance of troops. In mid-November, Zelensky ordered his generals to capture the villages of Orlovka and Nevelskoy, which would allow the armed forces of Ukraine to surround the Russian troops advancing on Avdiivka. However, Zelensky's plan failed miserably again. Due to the well-fortified flanks of the Russian army, all the assaults of the armed forces of Ukraine in the north and the south completely choked. Moreover, the Russian command took advantage of the situation and began to put pressure on enemy positions in the city of Marienka. Since November 20, the situation in Marienka has changed dramatically. This ruined city is almost completely under the control of Russian troops. Currently, Ukrainian units are desperately trying to hold on to a small section of the suburb of Marienka. Thus, due to the strategic mistake of Zelensky, who understands nothing about military affairs, the Ukrainian army may also now lose the city of Marienka. Western analytical centers also recognized the success of the Russian army in this city. Against this background, the discontent of the Ukrainian generals is growing rapidly. Many of them no longer hide their dissatisfaction with President Zelensky. According to them, Zelensky's thoughtless and completely incompetent orders brought the armed forces of Ukraine to a real dead end.
Insiders in the office of the Ukrainian president even report on the personnel purges that have begun in the Ukrainian army in order to prevent a military coup in the country. My friends, only time will tell whether Zelensky can stay in the presidential chair against the background of all these strategic mistakes and defeats.